Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, as promised, we're going to talk about all the new features from the Moment 5 update for Windows 11 23H2. In this video, as always, we're going to cover everything that there is to it. And I'm always looking forward to your opinion in the comments below about the Moment 5 update. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private Private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians, which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, let me show you the version that we're currently on. And basically, this is the version where Microsoft is rolling out the Moment 5 update features the build 2.2631.3235 of course for version 23h2 and we are on the main release if you're interested in getting this update all you need to do is to open up the settings app go to windows update and then make sure you enable get the latest updates as soon as they're available be among the first to get the latest non-security updates fixes and improvements as they roll out and then click on check for updates and you should get this optional update for now because this is the c release and if you check this you'll most likely get this new update and all the new features should be enabled for you this should be a quick update because Microsoft has tested the servicing pipeline so that certain updates will enable faster and you will no longer need to download huge updates to get all the latest features. One quick disclaimer, even if you install this update, some features may be slowly rolling out. So Microsoft is not pushing all the new features altogether for all the users because this could cause issues and they even delayed the update a bit. Maybe they had some issues. So just be patient if you don't have certain issues that I show in this video. Wait until next month on the B release or the C release and you should slowly get all the new features. Now let's get into the new features. First of all, we have a lot of changes in the European economic area. So Microsoft is basically forced to allow users to uninstall apps such as the Microsoft Edge or change the default browser or default apps easier inside the Windows operating system. So I think this is great news. Also inside the start menu, if you go to all apps, you're going to notice that system files are labeled accordingly right now. And also when you search for something, system files will be labeled. And if if you go into the settings app then into system you're going to have a new page here or section system components which will basically show all the system components separated from the third party installed apps in your operating system and of course there are other small changes in these european economic area regions but i think overall this is great news because first of all we're allowed to uninstall microsoft edge easily change default browsers or default apps and we now know exactly which apps or system components or not we also have changes related to widgets these changes may be rolling out slower than other features because of course they are based on the Windows experience package so you'll now be able to turn off news and widgets and also we have a new setting section with useful settings such as discover new widgets personalized notifications language open widgets board on hover show or hide feeds and more inside the file explorer if we go and share a file you'll notice we have a few improvements of course again certain features could be rolling slower than others so for example Microsoft will now let you share certain files using Using WhatsApp and even more apps in the near future I think that is pretty good and they've also improved the nearby sharing speed and that is also good news inside system and nearby sharing in the settings app you now have the option to rename your PC to a more friendly name so you have this button rename and this new section appears rename your PC for nearby sharing your device will use this name when it's discoverable using nearby sharing current device name and you can change the name add special characters and so on but you have a character count limit of 60 inside the settings app if we go to to system and then scroll down a bit to recovery you're going to notice this new option that should be rolling out fix problems using windows update reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved basically this is another way of resetting your pc but this will use the windows update servers to reset your pc and you'll basically get the official windows image that will help you fix the problems and reinstall your current version of windows if we click on reinstall now we're going to see this section appears will repair components and system files of course 
course, the computer has to be connected to a network and a power source, and you can select to automatically restart the computer 15 minutes after the installation. And I think this is a pretty good new option that will help a lot of users fix their Windows problems. We also have some changes inside the start menu. So for example, recently installed apps will be sometimes grouped to a group similar to the pinned app section. So basically you're gonna notice a new folder inside the recommended section called recently installed apps, which will group those apps that you recently installed. Also inside the recommended section of the start menu, if you have a work laptop or something like that, you could receive notifications about upcoming team meetings five minutes before a meeting is about to start. Inside the file explorer, we're getting the new snap assist suggestions. So basically if you hover over the maximize button, you're gonna notice these new suggestions. If you have multiple apps opened, basically you're gonna be able to quickly snap your window to a portion of the screen. Or if you have apps opened, you're gonna be able to snap all the apps at the same time. So for example, I have the file explorer, paint and notepad app. If I'm gonna click on that, it will be quickly snapped to those portions. And I think that is pretty good. Basically the new addition being that you get certain apps that are opened recommended to quickly snap with. I think this should be pretty useful. Now related to Windows Copilot, the new AI assistant Windows, you're gonna notice that the AI assistant will be moved to the right side of the taskbar, which is also something new. And basically its functionality remains the same, but its icon is moved from the center from here to the right side of the taskbar. And also if you right click on the taskbar, then go to taskbar settings, then taskbar behaviors, you're gonna notice that you can enable select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop because after Microsoft enables this by default, you will no longer have this button that will show you the desktop, but you can enable that from taskbar settings. Inside the settings app, we have this new section inside Bluetooth and devices and then mobile devices. And this page will be different. We will have some new sections. Of course, down below you have the section where you can turn phone link on or off, basically connect your phone to Windows, instantly access your mobile device from your PC. But you also have this new section, allow this PC to access your mobile devices. And if you click on manage devices, you will have a new option that I'm going to show you right here. Get new photo notifications. Receive new notifications to open or edit photos from this device. And let me show you how this works. Basically, if I take a new screenshot on my phone, you're going to notice that we're getting a new notification on our computer. And this is the new notification. As you can see, new photo, select here to view, edit, or share the photo. We can click on it and it will be automatically opened inside the snipping tool app. And I think that is pretty nice. And here we can edit with the limited functions from snipping tool, or we can click on edit in paint if we want to edit it even further. The same goes for photos taken. So I'm just gonna take a photo right now. And you're gonna see that we're gonna receive a new notification. It takes about five to 10 seconds, I think, to receive the new notification of the recently taken photo or screenshot but you're gonna receive it so I think that is pretty nice you can easily open it using snipping tool I think this is one of my favorite features because you can easily get your screenshots your photos inside your Windows PC without having to quickly share it or plug in a USB cable or, or anything like that it's a way quicker way of getting your taken photos from your phone to your Windows operating system Microsoft is also improving Windows 365 which basically is the cloud version of Windows and users are getting new features such as the dedicated mode, customizable login page, fail fast mechanism, banners and settings, and also switch updates, improved disconnect experience, desktop indicators to differentiate between cloud and local PCs, and more. Of course, in the article below, you're going to have more info about these on the official Microsoft website. I'm not going to go in depth with it because I'm not using Windows 365. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are also not using this version of Windows. There are also improvements for the task manager. So basically, Microsoft will worked on the process grouping updates and this should be now more reliable and um, I think it's good because maybe sometimes the process updates were a bit weird. Right now they should be okay in this um, moment 5 update for Windows 11. Also the desktop work area should now be animated so what that means basically if you have a window opened or multiple windows opened on your desktop when you open an app such as the voice access or narrator and that overlays the windows that you have currently opened they should automatically be moved and it will have a nice little animation I think that is also really nice a small change in this build is for example the steps recorder app which is being deprecated and you have this new banner inside the app this tool is being phased out click here to explore alternatives basically some alternatives are the new snipping tool app that also supports recording and taking screenshots Microsoft's also improving Windows ink or shell handwriting for more languages I think that is also pretty nice and we have a lot of voice access and narrator improvements I'm just gonna show you some voice access improvements I'm gonna open it then I'm gonna have to set it up 
up. Now inside voice access you're gonna notice that you have support for more languages, for example English, multiple dialects, and also if we go to this question mark and then go to view all commands, you're gonna notice this new section, voice shortcuts. Save time by creating your own voice command shortcuts for one or a series of actions. You can click on create new shortcuts, you can give it a name, for example file explorer, perform action, open file, and you can select the file or you have a lot of options to choose from. Press mouse click, open URL and more, and add the shortcut to group. You can create a new group and I think this is a pretty nice new addition which will basically allow you to create your custom voice shortcuts which will help you in your daily use of Windows. Now as I've said we also have some narrator improvements for example voice preview experience, image consumption experience and UI changes inside the app. If we press Windows plus K on our keyboard we also have some screen casting updates which basically allows you to connect your computer to an external monitor and you'll have some new info that will help you in this for example can find a device quick link which will open Microsoft Edge with more info or you have below more cast settings which is a quick link to the settings app. In this update we also have some app updates first of all the notepad app was updated it now shows you the total amount of characters from a document and if you select only a text it will show you that selected text characters out of the total amount and I think that is pretty nice. Also inside the operating system for example in the file explorer if you go to a different section and right click on a file you're going to have this new edit in notepad button which will allow you to edit it quicker using notepad and if you select certain texts this is also slowly rolling out right click on it you're going to have a button explain with copilot which will allow you to quickly get that text into windows copilot and copilot ai will try to explain it for you we also have a snipping tool app update which will basically allow you to add shapes and more things inside the editing section it will allow you to change colors change the thickness of shapes and lines whatever you're adding i think this is also a great addition and finally we have an update for the photos app so i'm just going to open a photo here then go into the editing section and we have here this new thing which is called generative erase preview of course this will use ai and you can auto apply this brush size and basically if you select something you can erase an area or an object using ai and i think this is also pretty nice i just made here a new screenshot so we can test things better i'm going to the generative erase section the brush size i selected 71 and let's try it for example to erase the start menu button and see if it's working and as you can see it worked pretty well i think the AI is doing its job pretty good. So these are pretty much all the new changes in the Windows 11 Moment 5 update. Let me know below in the comments what is your favorite feature from this update. As I've said, my favorite feature is the one that helps you quickly edit or get your taken screenshots or photos from your phone using phone link. I think that is a great new addition inside Windows 11. So if you want to learn more info about these new features, you can check out the article below as always. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.